MOU stability, stuck leg pulling. This complimentary lesson is offered to you, by Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass. Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. Before we start, disclaimer, the operations manual of your rig is telling you exactly what is the allowable overdraft during leg pulling operations. You must operate your rig always within the allowable safe limits, this to avoid damage or total loss of the rig. The illustrations and the numbers given during the course are only for learning purposes. These numbers and figures will always vary on each rig and each operation. Therefore you must study and understand your rig's operations manual before a leg pulling operation can take place. Let's start. The blue imaginary water line. The blue water line and the rig's hull are at the same level. The rig is at zero air gap. The legs are penetrated into the seabed. The spud cans are at the end of the legs, penetrated deep into the mud. The water depth. From the seabed to the water line, tide could influence the water depth. The legs penetration. Measured from the seabed bottom to the tip of the spudkin. The legs mark under the hull. Leg extension, measured from the keel to the tip of the spudkin. The figures. Water depth, 20 meters. Legs penetration, 15 meters. Legs extension, 35 meters. Now we create extra buoyancy, with overdraft. The rig is at approximately one third of a meter overdraft now. Question. Pause the video to motivate your answers. Question. Pause the video to motivate your answers. Why are the legs not come free? The correct answer. First, how much weight we have to pull out. The weight of the legs and the mud on top. A quick calculation. Assume that one leg weighs 10 metric tons. Suppose one sixth of the legs is under the hull, that means, that this weight must be taken in account additional to the pulling force, needed. This is 5 metric tons. Legs are 15 meters penetrated. Assume that mud weighs 1,500 kilograms per cubic meter and the diameter of a spudkin is 15 meters. Now we need the volume of the mud. And, how much weighs the mud? The volume of a cylinder of mud. V, volume equals pi, multiplied by the radius, till the second, multiplied by the height. Depth of the penetration. Pi, 3,14 multiplied by, 7,5 multiplied by 7,5, multiplied by 15. Volume, V equals 2,650 cubic meters. And the volume of all three. V equals 2,650 cubic meters multiplied by 3. V equals 7,950 cubic meters. The total weight of the mud and legs is. Total weight equals the total volume, multiplied by, the mud's total weight, plus 5. W equals 7,950 cubic meters, multiplied by 1,5 plus 5. W equals 11,930 mt. Now, how much extra buoyancy we have created? Assume that, 1 meter overdraft gives us, 1500 mt extra buoyancy. Then we have achieved 500 mt only. 
Now assume that we have 4 meters extra until the water reaches the main deck level. Then extra buoyancy will be 4 multiplied by 1500 plus 500 equals 6500 mt only. Pulling force needed was 11,930 mt. Extra buoyancy created was 4 times 1,500 plus 500 equals 6,500 mt, only. Conclusion 6,500 mt created and 11,930 mt need to be freed. We have approximately 50% short on buoyant pulling forces. So, we can sit and pulling legs here forever if we not come up with a better solution. Never pull the main deck below the water line. This makes no sense and will not create extra buoyancy in favor. Only the risk of down flooding will be added. What can we do extra than? We can start up the jetting. Jetting with low pressure system at the bottom of the spud cans to break the vacuum underneath. Jetting with the high pressure system at the top of the spud cans to wash the mud on top away. Good practice. Jet, one leg at the time, to keep the water jetting pressure, as high as possible. And, have, patience. Resume. If the leg's penetration is not so deep, overdraft will do the job. Deep penetration, overdraft only is useless. Make a simple calculation, what forces are needed. Not necessary to calculate to the last metric ton exactly. You get the point here. One needs to know how much tons approximately must be lifted, and what equipment is available. Deep penetration. Go to maximum allowable overdraft. Be patience. If this is not sufficient, connect the jetting system and start jetting one leg at the time. Be patience. This can take hours. Be patience. This can take days. Be patience. Imagine the penetration was 35 meters, then this can even take weeks. Be patience. This can take even a month or longer. In some cases decisions were made to cut the legs and take the loss. This was a complementary part of the leg pulling chapter. Much more to learn about this topic, to do it all safely. We hope you've enjoyed and learned some, during this complementary part of the course. In case you want to learn all about it, we suggest to sign up for the complete course. Rig Move and Jacking Operations Masterclass Tailored courses, on demand, on board, anywhere in the world, recognized certification by the Nautical Institute London UK. Thank you very much for your interests in our courses and watching this video. Do not hesitate to contact us and subscribe to our YouTube channel please.